I randomly had this video idea this morning and I thought I would just pull up my camera and film it right away. Um, also, I slept with braids in my hair last night. Um, so the bottom is super curly, but then my top layer of hair is not. We're gonna deal with that later. I wanted to show you guys my skin routine for, in my opinion, I would say this is like the ultimate base for if you're not gonna be wearing a lot of makeup but you still want to have really good looking skin, I feel like this is what I've been doing recently and I really like it. Oh, of course my battery's about to die. Hang on a sec. We're back. I'm drinking water, hydration is key. Tika's just staring at me, I can see her in the mirror. Why are you being a creep? She's like, who are you talking to, mom? I guess this could be my summer morning skincare routine. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video, but this is what I do on summer days for minimal makeup. This overhead lighting is not really helping me, but this is my skin right now. It's not terrible, it's not great. I have a few breakouts, nothing's really active. Actually, a couple. I put pimple stickers on these yesterday, so it kind of sucked everything out. I know that sounds gross, but. I only discovered pimple stickers this year and I'm obsessed. I always just buy them off of Amazon. I'll link a few of my favorite ones below. I normally just get the little circle ones. It's just hydrocolide pieces. I don't know if that's how you say it. The last time I bought these star patches just for fun. I like having like cute star stickers on my face. Like I feel like I can go out in public and I don't really care. Um, but you can also get ones that are like a tiny bit I mean, they don't have color to them, but I feel like it's kind of foggy looking and it almost, it helps tone down the redness. You can like just wear them out and then you don't even notice your pimples as much. But anyways, that's just a little thing that I do the night before. It helps pull out all the gross stuff out of your pimples if you have any. And then in the morning, it's flat and smooth and easier to work with. Next step, I like to do an exfoliating mask. This is the pumpkin enzyme mask from Peter Thomas Roth. A lot of people love this, including myself. Last time I posted about it, some people were like, don't use that because it does have a little bit of a texture to it. Don't come at me if you don't like this mask, but I personally love it. it just helps get rid of any dead skin. I am going to be putting self-tanner on my face. If you have dry patches and then you put self-tanner on, it really like sticks to the dry sections and makes it darker. So I really like to get rid of any dry patches before I put that on. If you have another way that you like to exfoliate your face, definitely go ahead and do that. I also buy this off of Amazon because it's way cheaper. And I did confirm that it is actually Peter Thomas Roth that is selling it on Amazon. It's not like a fake buyer or fake seller. Um, I went directly to Peter Thomas Roth and they said it was them on Amazon. I'm just going to leave this on for like five minutes. I'm going to wash it off and then I'll let you know what's next. So that is washed off and now I'm moving into my everyday morning skincare. This is the Watermelon Glow Tonic by Glow Recipe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just spilt a whole bunch. But anyways, I just put a bunch in my hand. Oh my gosh, it's falling through my fingers. I've never had this much of an issue. And then I just pat it into my face. I don't usually use my vitamin C serum on days that I use my self tanner. I don't really know why, but I'm not gonna use that. I swap between a few different moisturizers. I'm gonna put some of the Ultra Repair Cream on, but I'm actually gonna go in with a second moisturizer as well because, oops. There's one that I mix with my self tanner. This is the moisturizer that I use with my tanning drops. It's a gel moisturizer. I really like how gel moisturizers mix with the Isle of Paradise tanning drops. To most people, I recommend that they get the dark ones, which is the purple bottle. I'm not super tan, but I only need like three drops and then it gives me the perfect color. My sister has the lighter one and she says she needs a lot of drops to get the color that she wants. So I think more bang for your buck if you just go with the dark one and then use fewer drops because you can really adjust the color based on how many drops you use. I just put a little bit of this moisturizer in my hand and then I'm going to do three drops of the tanning drops. Sometimes I'll do five, and if I'm just doing maintenance, I'll do like two, but normally I do three. And I make sure I get it on my eyelids and my ears, and then I bring it down my neck a little bit. If you've never tried those drops before, they're clear, you don't notice color in the beginning, it takes, I wanna say a few hours, I don't even know. 
but I think like after a few hours you start getting a bit of color but it really just helps even out my skin tone um, I feel like I don't need to wear as much makeup if I have some color to my face make sure you wash your hands after though that's pretty much the skincare portion but then the makeup that I do is kind of skincare as well can't forget your SPF lately I've been using the physical fusion UV defense from SkinCeuticals and this has a bit of a color to it but you don't see it on your skin but like when you put it on your fingers like I don't know it kind of looks like it would be a foundation but it doesn't actually show up I'm not gonna say this is my favorite SPF though I really want to try the one from Tula I feel like it gives your skin a nice glow but this one sinks in really well it doesn't give you like a white cast or anything so and I trust SkinCeuticals so that is what I use Sorry about this lighting. I feel like it just keeps changing. I recently switched my makeup, like my skin makeup, for the longest time, like probably, I wanna say three years, maybe it's been more, I've been using the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I don't really wear foundation very often unless it's like a night out. So this is what I've been using for the past few years as like my face makeup, but I recently swapped this out for the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. This is a lot lighter. I was just feeling like the CC cream was a little bit thick. I don't know, I could just like notice it like separating on my face. This one definitely has a lot more coverage. This is quite a bit lighter, so I do have to wear quite a bit more concealer when I use this versus this, but when I put this on, it doesn't look like I have anything on my skin. In the summer, with the sun and everything, it's just easier to see everything. These are the deep bronzy sun sunshine drops from Drunk Elephant. This is pretty potent, so you don't want to use too much. It's so a little pump, but this really adds a lot of color. And then I've just been using my fingers. But yeah, those two together is like my new favorite combination. This helps even out the skin tone, adds some color, adds a bit of a glow, but it doesn't look like there's anything on your face as long as you blend it in well enough. Especially with the bronzing drops, like you really need to blend it in or else you can see like there's a bronzer on your face so that's pretty much the base but i am going to go in with concealer i like to use the dior forever skin correct in the shade one neutral and i just put a tiny bit under my eyes and i like to use a little sponge to blend it in this stuff is not cakey at all and it blends in so well so for like a natural look it's perfect and then for spot concealing, I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have the shade 2.3 Madeline. This is a little bit light for me, but if I blend it in, it's fine. I can't really see what I'm doing for this. I'm gonna move into my living room. Okay, we are in natural light now. I normally do my makeup here just because the lighting is so much better. I do have quite a few breakout spots at the moment that I wanna hide. Sometimes I use a little sponge other times I use this It Cosmetics brush. I'm pretty sure this is it's a crease brush, but I use it for concealer. I'm just going to blend this all in. That is what that looks like. I think I'm going to come back to finish the makeup look, but if you're just going for a really natural looking skin base, that is what I do. I do feel like this looks better after a few hours because the tan starts developing and also the skin product just really sinks in and it looks really natural and really good. So that's what I do. For like an everyday makeup look, I would do eyebrows, some lip chap, and then I've been really into doing some faux freckles. So maybe I'll come back and do that once like the tanner is starting to develop, but you could totally leave it there if you're just looking for like a little bit of coverage, a little bit of color. It has been a couple hours. I don't know if my face is gonna look any different to you, but I can definitely tell that the tanner is starting to develop. It's like a little bit darker. Tika and I went for a walk, so I got like a little bit humid and I just feel like, I don't know, the makeup, it just looks like skin. I don't know if you can see, like it's, it's glowy, but it's not too greasy. But I wanted to show you guys the finishing touches of what I would do for like my everyday skin makeup. I did fill in my eyebrows a little bit and I have been into mascara lately. Normally I don't really do anything with my eyes, but I like just like a warm brown eyeshadow, a little bit of mascara, but we're gonna leave that. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just swirl it around in the lid just to get like a tiny bit. And I'm just gonna put this in my T-zone because this is where my face does tend to get oily. 
If you've watched any of my makeup videos, this has been my go-to blush for years. It's Desert Rose by Nude by Nature. It's just a really nice corally pink color. I feel like in the pan, it doesn't look super pigmented, but it definitely shows up. I do like to bring it across my nose a little bit and then even like my, oh my gosh, my eyelids. I couldn't even think about that word for a second. Another go-to Nude by Nature Bondi Bronze Loose Bronzing Powder. It's honestly the best. Oh, I didn't bring my the brush for it. Okay, I'm gonna do that in a second. And then this is Freck OG. I do naturally get some freckles on the bridge of my nose and like the highest parts of my cheeks. So I just like to accentuate that a little bit. And if you've never used this before, you literally just do little dots. And then you take your finger and tap it in. Sometimes I'll just do a few. Some days I go ham. I feel like it makes the makeup look more natural because it looks like your skin is poking through or like you don't have makeup on. You get the idea, I'm not gonna do too much today. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram recently and that will give you guys like a good view of the makeup like in a photo But yeah, let me just throw on bronzer and then we are finished. This is the brush that I use for the bronzer Just like a big buffing brush So you just swirl it around I need my mirror So I really like to get it on the forehead, cheeks, nose. I don't use this to contour, it's just to like warm up the face. So that is the look. That's basically what I do every day for like my face makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have all the products listed down below and I'm probably gonna post this on Friday. It's just a very like spur of the moment film and upload, but hope you guys enjoyed. I did forget to mention lip balm. That's also key. Sometimes I'll do some lip liner and then just lip balm over top. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, it really helps out my channel. Links to my social media down below and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.